The Rhodes Scholarships have changed in some way, and I think the major change is uh, when I was at Oxford, most of the students with a Rhodes Scholarship would take um, the undergraduate course. And that uh, gave them a chance to do many things which were original to take intellectual chances, uh, just because of how that fit in their career. Today, understandably, a great many of the students who have won a Rhodes do graduate degrees. They take advantage of Oxford as one of the truly great universities in the world to go further in a field at a graduate level. And that's both understandable and good, but it comes with some risk because it makes it much more difficult for those people to take the kind of intellectual chances that we were able to take. So the challenge is not to try to make them do something which isn't interesting to them, like doing undergraduate work, but try to make them understand that these two years have a special significance in their career. And even if they are doing graduate work which is more directly relevant to what they want to be than maybe what we were doing, but they have to do it in a way that takes chances, that tries to fly, that does the sort of thing that they could not do in their home universities.